We are the Gator Boys. Here he comes. I got a permanent from the FWC about a Gator hanging out behind this guy's house. Since Jimmy left Gator Boys, I've been going on more and more catches by myself. Running the rescue without him has been a little difficult, but uh, I mostly just miss having the kid around. How you doing? Doing great. How about yourself? I'm Angelo. It's my daughter, nice daughter Fiorenza. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what's, what's going on? Uh, we got an alligator over here in our pond. Every time we walk outside, he's kind of walking up there, kind of sticking his head out, maybe one one. Just fall. swims right over? Swims right up to us. Yeah, somebody's probably been feeding him somewhere, and he thinks everybody's going to feed him now. There's That's no food uh, here for him. No. <laughs> Normally, alligators down here, when they see you, they run. Every time we walked outside, this alligator would come out of the water. And that's different for these animals. And that's when we decided to call FWC and have them come out and see what they could do for us. Yeah, he usually he just walks right up to us here. Uh, it looks clear enough under the water. I'm going to go put a mask in strong line and just go in and look for him. Are you crazy? Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, I'll go get a first aid kit while you get your mask and snorkel. Gator was not on top of the water. I was hoping. He would do the same thing for me, just walk out of the water, and I could put a rope on him and get it over with. But uh, he was in the water, so I'd say I'd put my stuff on and go look for him. Uh, water was pretty clear, a little bit of film on top. It's not that big of a pond. It kind of goes off in the back, but the area where he said he was hanging out was where I found him. Found him pretty quickly. Went down, he kind of almost started stalking me underwater. So uh, I kind of backed off and let him let him kind of settle down. Came back in, slid the noose over him, and he went off like a bomb. He gave me about 20 or 30 different head swats. He was right at my feet, biting the rope, biting the catch pole, biting anything around him, including my feet. And I figured I'd take the rope off, see if he'd spin once, and then jump on him. It was like he took a standing eight count and then came at me again. Very energetic gator, very dangerous gator, real tight spins. Eventually just got him, uh, closed his jaws, quickly did a throttle catch and a mount, got on him and uh, taped the mouth shut. A little bigger than what you thought, huh? Yes, he's definitely bigger than what we thought. Yeah, if you just see that little head, it doesn't look like much, but he's probably nine feet, I bet. Wow. Yeah, I, this is a story that I'll be telling for the rest of my life, even my grandkids at some point. Really, really amazing sight to see that guy jump into water and wrestle that, wrestle that alligator out of there. That's something. All right, well, I'm going to get him back, but I uh, appreciate you calling. Thank you. So now I'll bring the gator back to Holiday Park, uh, probably bring him to Bob Freer in the morning, unless we want to use him as a show gator, see how he adjusts. And this guy can enjoy his pond, can let his dog out, and not have to worry about this gator coming up and going after him. <laughs>